Hey guys, it's Isela, and here is our monthly read info, or I guess monthly, I don't know what we're calling this, a reading update of what we've been reading on. And so I have a special guest, and he is right here with me. He wanted to join me. Hi. <laughs> so Nicholas, he worked on this month of October was, what, what is it called? Do you want to tell them? Sa the Courage of Sarah Noble. Yep. And we worked on this book last year. It was a read aloud for our book, or no, not Bookshark. It was Beautiful Feet Books. And so we read it aloud, and yep. And so he decided he wanted to read it on his own. So you really like this book? Yeah, I love, and that's my number one book. And this number one book. So we are going to be sending it to the Navarro family, right? We're going to be mailing mm -hmm. it to them so they can enjoy it. So be looking for this in your mailbox because we will be mailing it to you. Nicholas said he'll give it to y'all. So that's his favorite book. And then for fun, he is reading Captain Underpants. And the attack the And the Attack of the Talking Toilets. Um, this isn't very challenging for him. It's just mainly just for fun. So he can have something fun to read, like while we're driving to swim practice or whatever. So it's gonna be awesome instead of boring. Yes. Because then we move on to boring, which he says he doesn't like, but this is his other book uh, from the author Clyde Robert Beulah. And so he's reading about the Viking adventures. So that's what he's working on. And then after he's done with that, we he's going to move on to Brave Kids, True Stories from America's Past. And it's um, an adventure of a father and daughter, which, hey, that kind of sounds like Sarah Noble. Mm -hmm. So they go through some times, and it's a true story, and Nicholas likes true stories. So I think he might enjoy this one. So thank you, Nicholas, for joining me. You're welcome. So then we'll move on to Michael. Michael read The Chalk Box Kid. And again, that is another book from Clyde Robert Beulah. These books are from our curriculum book shark. So that's what we're working on. And so he finished that one. So he's gonna be working on the paintbrush kit. So that's what uh, he's gonna be finished on. I don't think he'll finish this. I think he will finish this um, in November. And actually, I don't know what I'm gonna have him do after that. So I have to work on the, finding what the next book is. Uh, Mama read a book this month in October. Michael and Nicholas went on a Cub Scout, and so I needed something to grab. And my neighbor Jennifer, shout out to her, she told me that she recommended this book, and it's called The Rainbow Comes and Goes, and it's from Anderson Cooper and uh, Gloria Vanderbilt. So it was a really good story. It's fast. It's funny. It's wow. I didn't know that they had so much trouble in their lives and, and how many marriages she went through was kind of gossipy. But hey, I mean, it's always good to read about stuff like that. So boys. All right. Um, let's do with, let's do Matthew's uh, what he's doing. So Matthew finished um, the Stephen King novel. I think it's The Watchtower. He was going to be here, but he had to go to swim. So he was going to tell you his um, review on that book. But he started Harry Potter, and he's not quite, I don't even know, probably chapter three or something. But I would imagine it'll probably take him all up until December to read this because he's just been so busy with swim if you've been following us along on Facebook. So he uh, will be doing that. He's also for school going to be reading Night from Ellie Wiesel. And um, I really wish we would have made it to Auschwitz to go see where um, he was at and all the people who were in the concentration camp. But um, it's a really great book that I highly recommend. And I'm so happy that he will be reading this book. So that is what Matthew's working on for November. For our read alouds, we were actually pretty productive this month. <laughs> it's a long month too. So uh, we finished up The Red Cells of Capri. There was only like a chapter left. So we finished that up and we went right into Little Pear. Um, Both books were awesome. Yeah, The Red Cells of Capri, we really loved that. It was so adventurous and the ending was amazing. And it actually was a true story because there really is. It talks about the Blue Grotto in Italy, and we were at the end. We're like, we were just there. We were so close. 
that we should have we should have read the book sooner and then we would have gone there. Well, I'm going to take my mom there. Yes, he said he'll take me later. So we went right into Little Pear and it's a little boy who gets into lots of trouble. I and, love it. Yeah. And he's every chapter he gets into some kind of trouble and uh and so he this is based in China and it was a good book. And then we rolled right into Owls in the Family. This one we just finished today. We read it all the way to the end. We had three chapters left and they kept saying, finish it, finish it. So we finished it. And um, it is super funny. I actually like this one better than this one was like, yeah. But this one, I really liked it. I cried at the end. I'm not going to tell you why, but these heartless kids did not cry. But I cried at the end. It was such a sweet ending. So The owl was awesome. The owls were awesome. They were really cool. What were the name of the two owls? Do you remember, Nicholas? No, but I only know that there's a big one and a little one. Yeah, the big one was Wool. He named him after the owl from Winnie the Pooh. And the little owl was named Weeps. So, cute story. I recommend this. This is Owls in the Family. Yep, get it. So our next book that we're going to read is from Beverly Clary, and we've read a Beverly Clary book. It was um, Charlotte's Web, and we really liked that one. So we are going to start our next read aloud with Henry Huggins, and I don't remember reading this in elementary school. Maybe I did, but I remember reading, um, what was it, Henry and Rigsby? I think I read that one, or maybe it was just Rigsby. So um, we are going to start that one up for November. We are actually going home for, to Texas in November. So I don't know how much reading we'll get done, but I mean, we might take it with us and just read it um, in the evening times for, you know, quiet time. So I might just throw that in my suitcase and just take it with us. And we might get it done November. If not, then for sure December and then I'm not sure what we're reading but I'll give you another update at the end of November on what we're reading so tell me what y'all read this month in October and uh, share any ideas or any recommendations I know my cousin had told me that Michael Matthew should be reading another book um, I think it's from Lois Lowry I know he'll probably comment and tell me so I am getting to that one I promise but he his curriculum uh, is having him work on this next, but after this, then I promise he'll read that one. I can't remember it. I have it in my bookshelf too, um, but I promise he'll probably get to that at the end of December and he'll read it because I know people have told me it's a must. So anyways, y'all have a great November and we'll see you again at the end of the month. All right. Bye guys.